What's going on YouTube? Geosnoid here. Today we're talking about what version you should stay on if you're waiting for the Cheo Chillbreak and what's currently going on. Now you probably remember the Cheo Chillbreak, it has been teased a couple of weeks ago, back on July 17. It's gonna be an iOS 15 to 15.1.1 Chillbreak, released by Coolstar and the ODC team, you know, their whole team in there. It's gonna come with Procursus and Cilio, and that's actually great because it makes for a pretty good chill break. However, their last update was this. Basically, Chaot Recovery is now working on 15.0 to 15.1.1, coming soon. And it's basically the recovery mode, which allows you to go into SSH mode, normal boot, startup repair, or safe mode. Now, a while ago, Coolstar also managed to achieve SSH, and the last update that we got was back on 28th of July, which is basically this one over here, this announcement. At that point, they were still working on making sure the injection works in App Store applications, fixing the user space reboot bug and of course fixing the YLD hook. But as you can see over here, getting root, breaking amphi and code sign, running shell commands, fixing fork for the A12, running tweaks in Springboard, you know, improving the child recovery and a lot of other things are already working. So what is currently going on? Well, we have no idea why the update stopped or what's currently going on, but in the meantime, some changes happened to iOS signing status. You can see here that iOS 15.5 beta 4 is no longer signed. It's been unsigned for a while now and all the versions that are available in here are not compatible with either the Cheo jailbreak that is coming soon or with the Fugu 15 that's coming from Linus Henzi in October. You probably remember that Fugu 15 will be announced and probably released in October by Linus Henzi and they said in here it's going to work up to 15.4.1. Well it's actually going to work up to 15.5. Unfortunately the iOS 15.5 which is the release one is not going to be supported only the beta 4 of the 15.5 and of course the beta 3 and 2 and 1 and so on but anything after the beta 4 will not be supported however neither 15.5 or 15.5 beta 4 are signed anymore so the ODC team are currently in radio silence probably doing a lot of stuff in the background but what you should do is to actually stay as low as possible still a lot of people got fed up with waiting and stuff like that and I totally understand but if you update you're not going to get a jailbreak any faster in in fact, you're only screwing your chances even more. So if you're running 15.1.1 or 15.1 or 15.0, 15.0.2, stay there as long as you can, because the Cheo jailbreak is mostly done. As you can see from the official post from Coolstar over here, many of the important things are done. There are some fixes yet to be done, sure, but most of it should be complete. So do not update further, believing that the ODC team will never release the jailbreak, because they definitely will. So yep, thank you for watching, I'm Geosnow, till the next time, Stay patient and peace out.